the cello corner. Today we're gonna talk about arm support. For me, arm support comes from even further. It comes from the core and how you sit on the cello. So basically, uh, you do want to sit in the middle of your chair, on your sitting bone, and then you have different point of contacts with the cello and the floor. So you have your feet on the floor, and then you have your knees on the side of the cello, which are touching the cello, and then here with your cello, so you can feel all of the vibration. And w making sure that you are sitting on your sitting bones, that's really gonna make you the lowest you can be and the more relaxed you can be, so no tension up there. From that point, arm support is when the weight of your arm is resting on your shoulder blade and the bigger muscle of your back. So when you're bringing your arms here, it doesn't involve the bicep at all. It's just all from the bigger muscle in your back because they're stronger. So you want to use them the most you can. So from that point, there is two ways to look at things. The front view or the back view if you want. From the back, you're gonna notice the movement of the shoulder blades. They're gonna come together and then come apart a little, depending on the motion you're doing with the bow. And so if you're doing a down bow, here you're gonna open up your torso, but then the shoulder blades are gonna touch together. And then when you're coming back with the up bow, they're coming apart. So that motion of opening the shoulders by closing the shoulder blades is really, really important. And that's opening all of here and it implies that it's very relaxed. And then from the front view you have here with the, um, how do you say, <laughs> uh, the pectoral muscle I think, uh, it's in the armpit section. So you really want to be using the armpit muscle <laughs> by doing a down bow. This is going to be flexing and then doing the up bow, this is going to rest. So you really want to use that t tension relaxation motion going on and put it together with the opening of the shoulder and touching of the shoulder blades and then coming back together here. So there's a lot of motion going on with the back or in the front here, depending on from where you want it. But the motion is still the same. And that is going to allow you to be very flexible and very relaxed in the rest of the motion. And also to keep the weight off from the fingers because if you're going from under and trying to play here and putting all of the weight in your hand and fingers then it's going to be very very tight as well because the motion is coming from under and you're trying to press compared to if the weight is supported then you're coming from above when your arms are supported the weight is not on the fingers it's already in the bigger muscle and these are just falling from above like little hammers from a typing machine and so they can be very very agile compared to if the motion comes from under and then you're pressing with your thumb and then it's really hard to have this the same agility also it lets you keep the nice c shape that you want to always get from here instead of having from under where this is happening the kind of claw thing where the side of the hand is coming inside because you're pressing so playing like this or even like this the pins and flat finger or collapsed finger that is all wrong what you want to get is nice strong c shape and then the weight is all gonna rotate right so you want to distribute the weight evenly if you're playing on the first natural weight of the hand is going to be on the first finger and then the more you go up then the more the weight is going to be towards the other side. So this motion is really important and you will notice that it's pretty much the same motion that you're going to do here when you want to keep the contact with the bow. So what we call pronation or supination is when you rotate the forearm. So let's say here I rotate then that brings uh, the stick closer to the hair. So that means that here I have weight and I'm not pressing. Compared to if I don't pronate, then it's super easy to lift it up. It's just super bouncy and light. So to keep the contact all the way to the tip, you really want to do that pronation, which is the rotation of the forearm. And here's the same thing with the weight. So to make sure to keep the contact and the support in check, you always want to be aware of where you're playing. Here, point of contact is here. Then you will have your finger here, depending if you're playing a note or not and the strength is coming from the belly and then middle part you have contact here still contact there and then still coming from the belly so that creates a triangle shape going on and then it's even going to be further away so contact here still contact from the belly and then contact over there with the hand 
and this is like the biggest triangle you can get but if you're still aware of that then you're gonna keep your contact <laughs> to if you forget about one of those points and where the strength is coming from like pressing with your hand pressing with your thumb put all of that energy from your uh, stomach and so with that example you're out of focus here because the weight is naturally heavier on the frog of the bow and here is naturally lighter you have to compensate by creating that uh, pronation motion and that's what keep the contact so by keeping those in check the contact pronation relaxation here armpit muscle shoulder opened shoulder back touching then you're at the dip and then you release shoulder blade untouching shoulder going down here relaxing the muscle of the armpit <laughs> that's such a weird thing and then you're back to your lower point so you have room to grow again rather than always keeping it at the tip and then keeping it flexed and then coming back here and look at how my shoulder is high and it's just gonna keep getting higher and tense. So that was my insight on how I view the arm support on the cello and there are so many finer details motion you have to do with your fingers and everything and that's for sure something we're gonna talk about in another video but um, for now, really, I would highly suggest to think about the bigger motion of the arm support because that's the base. So always sit on your sitting bone and think about those shoulder blades working off and relaxing that armpit muscle. I really need to find an actual name for that. <laughs> okay, thank you very much. Thank you for watching. Bye bye.